Most tricks aren't very dangerous, but this one really is. The masked magician will now risk his life to perform Houdini's famous water torture escape. He inspects the torture chamber to make sure that it is airtight. There are more than 500 gallons of water sealed inside. The lid of the chamber is lifted, and the magician begins mentally preparing for this dangerous trick. His wrists are handcuffed by one of his assistants. Now his feet are shackled inside the lid. Once he is tightly secured, the crane hoists him into the air. Timing is crucial in a trick like this. Blood is rapidly rushing to the magician's head increasing the odds that he will lose consciousness while underwater. He is trying to keep calm and lower his heart rate so he can hold his breath as long as possible. Again, this is a dangerous trick that requires tremendous physical skill. He is put into position. He takes one final breath and gives the signal that he is ready. Into the water he goes. Since there is no extra room in the chamber, water begins to pour out onto the floor. The assistants secure the lid and lock it closed. Now the magician has been underwater for almost 30 seconds. The curtain comes up. How long can he hold his breath? Hopefully, long enough. We move completely around the chamber to prove that he has not merely slipped out the back. He hasn't. The curtain is now partially raised. The magician is still inside, struggling to escape. Will he make it? The curtain goes down again. Time is running out. The tension is mounting. It's going to take some real magic to get out of this one. The curtain goes up. But where is our magician? There he is. A little out of breath, but none the worse for wear. How did he do it? The key to this daring escape is in the lid of the chamber. You can see that the magician's feet are shackled and that the lid is locked down tight. You can also see that the locks are real. But what you don't see is the assistant sliding the pins out of the hinges of the lid. So even with the locks on, the lid is easily opened. When the curtain is raised, the magician uses a handle hidden inside the lid to pull himself up. He pops through the unlocked lid and takes a much needed breath. He drops down again and the lid closes back into place. He dives to the bottom of the chamber and begins to struggle just in time to show the audience that he is still underwater. When the curtain goes down again, he removes the handcuffs, which are specially rigged for just such a trick. See how quickly he breaks free? Once loose from the handcuffs, he uses the handle to pull himself up and completely out of the torture chamber. He closes the lid to make it appear as if it is still locked tight. While the audience is wondering if the masked magician is still alive, he is merely waiting for his cue. The curtain goes up, and Houdini couldn't have done it any better. <laughs>